If I asked you to describe Breath of the Wild, you'd probably talk about it being a masterpiece or a generationally redefining video game. But what probably wouldn't come to mind is it being a perfect metaphor for homeschool. But I think that it is because if I had to pick one trait that defined my experience of being homeschooled growing up, it would be awkward virgin. But the next trait would be the emphasis that homeschooling placed on solving problems by myself, which is truly at the core of Breath of the Wild's identity. When Shigeru Miyamoto was asked to predict what a Zelda game would look like in 50 years, he cited this as the core element that would define Zelda beyond his own life and the future possibilities of technology. <laughs> and while that's a shared trait in all Zelda games, one of Breath of the Wild's universal compliments from critics is how it presents the player with dozens of different ways that they can solve any one problem. Even just thinking about the game's core sandbox of having to survive out in the Breath of the Wilderness by yourself, there are so many different ways that you can Shake that pony. And I found these limitless possibilities really refreshing in comparison to other games like Lost in Blue or Survival Kids, where my kids did not survive because I never found the one perfect tree branch I needed to craft a fishing rod. And I think this theme of individuality is even reinforced through Link's name. Like, lead producer Eiji Anuma has said that's why they named him Link, so the individual player is linked to the game and to the experience. They wanted the player to be able to relate to Link and to play as themselves, and to me what makes this personal connection so satisfying is the game's emphasis on seeing yourself grow and progress, which Miyamoto cites as the other core element of Zelda games. Like when you start out in Breath of the Wild, you're alone, you're weak, and you're naked. But in a short matter of time, you have friends, you're strong, and you're potentially still naked. But now it's a choice. And when I started playing Breath of the Wild, I was initially sort of crushed by that sense of Link's isolation, but then it quickly turned into a warm gravity blanket pressing me to sleep and gently peppering my forehead with kisses. And while that metaphor is definitely specific to me, I was surprised to find that arc from lonely isolation to enjoyable solitude was actually a deliberate intention by Onuma. それまでね、僕3Dのゲームで迷うことってのは悪だと思ってたんですよ。そんなあの、初めての世界にポンと放り出されて、右も左もわかんなくて、もうなんかいろいろうろうろしてたらもう時間ばっかり食っちゃって全
While I might have needed Bucky to play Monopoly, I'm, I'm grateful that I don't need him to play Breath of the Wild. Is that a good ending? I'm sorry. There's so many different endings. There's so many different ways that I could shake this pony. Do you like Bucky, Johnny? Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful.